as you know, we travel around the world featuring all types of great animal rescues and showcasing those dedicated individuals helping animals in trouble. Watch. At the Singapore Zoo, staff members need to treat this female oryx, a large African antelope who was found to have a lame left front foot. If left untreated, this endangered animal risks infection and possibly could lead to her death. The unexplained injury certainly must be painful to the animal, who has lost its appetite and is somewhat lethargic. So Chief Veterinarian Dr. Chris Furley and his team must act quickly. Let's produce the xalazine to... Dr. Furley must be very careful when treating this wild antelope, so he first must sedate the critter by darting it. Oryx are native to Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. They prefer near desert conditions and can survive long periods of time without water. Oryx typically have long, straight, or curved horns. Because of these horns, oryxes are sometimes called the saber antelope. But these distinctive horns also make them a prized game trophy, which has led to the near extinction of this beautiful animal. The dart itself needs to go into a muscle mass, either the shoulder or the hind leg anywhere else and you might penetrate a vital organ or you want to avoid the head obviously. So it's not quite as simple as, as it may first appear. Well, it went in and it's gone off so we'll wait for the animal to calm down a bit. And the first signs of tranquilization will be lowering of the head. And essentially what we're trying to do is reduce the stress associated with the whole procedure that we're going to do this morning. So. When we give the anesthetic, we want the animal to be sort of half asleep to start with, so we don't have too much of a problem actually delivering the final dose of anesthetics. Once calmed, Dr. Furley cautiously enters the enclosure to retrieve the darts, and the team then proceeds to begin their medical treatment. First off, they need to cover the animal's eyes with a towel so as to limit the stress of seeing people. Yeah. Where's the towel? Okay. Let's see if we can get her over a bit towards there. That's it. There we go. Okay. So the animal's gone down, so <clears throat> one of us is focusing on the foot to see what the extent of the injury is, if we can see any injury at all. The hoof in question is examined, and a nasty wound is discovered, which needs immediate attention. We've got a, um, a situation here where the, the raw foot under, of the sole is, is exposed. So, I mean, if you can imagine, you know, yourself walking in bare feet, if you've got a big sore underneath, and you're walking across sandpaper, then obviously it's going to be very painful, and that's what's happened here. So, we're gonna keep her indoors on dry substrate, um, we're going to bandage that whole foot and um, give it time to grow and heal over and she should be okay. After wrapping the wound, the oryx is given antibiotics and then a reverse tranquilizer. If we hadn't discovered it, we're doing nothing about it, then that foot would become infected. The foot would swell up, she'd develop suppurative arthritis and we'd probably have to put her down. So, <clears throat> for these types of conditions, it's always important to jump in early if you have a small problem, rather than wait until you've got a big one. Okay, take the bandage off. Okay, we'll now make our exit. Now in a minute she'll stand up. There we go. That didn't take long. It's less than six, 60 seconds, which is what you want. So I think what we've done here is, first of all, it was a very successful sedation. Secondly, we identified the problem. We know what we have to do to improve it and, and um, treat it. If we'd had a bigger problem, then um, we might, for example, we might have had to x-ray the foot. Uh, we might even have had to amputate a toe. Um, so the magnitude of the problem is, is something that you never really can judge properly unless you've actually got the foot in your own hand. So seeing an, an animal lay out in a paddock is 
is some information, but it's not everything. She was very uncomfortable um, with such a sore foot, and now we gave, we've given her a painkiller as well, and then we've cushioned the foot, so hopefully she will be able to walk um, much better. She'll be on antibiotic therapy for a while. We'll need to change the bandage. Um, after five days or so, we might have to do that two or three times till that foot heals over. So from the point of view of a clinician, the whole procedure is very successful. If not for the caring medical attention given to this oryx by Dr. Furley and his staff, an endangered animal would no doubt suffer from a painful wound and its life would be in jeopardy.